I'm not going to put my name on something that I don't honestly believe in. And to be quite honest, I think this is the most universal and user-friendly anchoring system out there. And then as far as the Beaver Drowner Cable, I don't think you're going to come up with something that's that's as, that's as straightforward and easy and has so many different applications. All right, y'all, welcome back to another one. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this video. This has been a long time in the making, and uh, I am just super stoked to be able to, to bring you guys a, a product and you know kind of put my name uh, on something that I'm super proud of and, and kind of make an impact on the industry all at the same time. So we're going to get right into it, y'all. Today, I'm going to show you two new products that I have come out with. I have partnered with Dakota Line Snares um, to bring you guys what I consider the most universal anchoring system out there, um, as well as my iteration of what I believe is the ideal uh, drowning cable for for beaver so i've got two products to show you here uh, we're going to start off with uh, with the anchoring system here and then we're going to move on to the uh, the beaver drowner cable but this is this is something that I, i'm very very excited to bring you guys now as many of you guys know who's followed me for years on my youtube channel um, i i love to anchor my small game traps and what i'm talking about that is, is you know your, your one and a halves and your dog proofs i love to be able to anchor those very quickly efficiently and most importantly i like to be able to, to anchor them on toggles or drags or something to to get them out of the side of public or um you know out out off the trail or just more than anything, just to be able to, to anchor in the area that I know that there is sign and there's critters. Um, so what I have for you here today is um, kind of what I consider my all around anchoring system. So what we have here is um, a five foot length of this is eighth inch cable here went with eighth inch cable due to its uh, its strength you know this is an anchor that's going to be able to to be used year after year make multiple catches as well as uh, you know, this is kind of intended for your small game traps, you know, like I have a one and a half here or a dog proof, but I can tell you I, I've held coyotes and bobcats, uh, you know, with this anchoring system. So having that eighth inch cable, super nice, um, you know, like I said, you get that, that strength, longevity, everything else that comes with, you know, having a big beefy cable. So essentially what we're able to do with this anchoring system is anchor our traps uh, two different ways. And then if you pair that with some sort of an earth anchor, you now have the option that is staying with the trap that allows you to anchor your sets three different ways. So it gives you a whole bunch of different options depending on the, the situation that you're in. So each of these anchors are also going to be shipped with a, a J hook and an S hook. Um, this is going to allow you to attach the, the anchor to your trap. And it basically makes this thing a kit where you know you, you get the, you buy the anchor and that's all you really need, right? Uh, you don't need any special tools. You don't need to buy anything else. You can, you can put them on your traps and you're done. The reason I wanted to include this is if you're attaching this to your traps um, you know, with the J hook and you already have a swivel on here, this gives you an extra swiveling point. So y'all have heard me talk for years, you cannot have enough swiveling points. So by adding this extra swiveling point, I think that's super cool. Um, but, but let me show you what we got here. So we've got our cable. Um, I've got it attached here to this, this dog proof and this one and a half. Um, so like I said, you get five feet of cable here. Now, one of the cool things is with five feet of cable, that allows you to say, um, take this, this log here. That's a pretty good sized log. This would be a fair sized tree if you were anchoring to the tree here. Um, we're able to, to come in here and open a loop up on this cable and run our trap through it. And you can see even with a, uh, even with a, a tree that, that big, we still have some, uh, some slack left to be able to get to that trail. So I didn't cut you short on the cable. I wanted enough cable that you could still anchor to a large tree and then still be able to get to your trail. Um, in other words, then by the time you make your extension and having a, a short cable, you can't do anything with it, right? You have to sit right at the base of the tree. So like I said, five feet of a cable gives you a good, 
good range there after your anchor. So that's it, anchoring system number one. Now here's, here's one of the cool ones. Um, for years I've used toggles and uh, you know, having this eighth inch cable here, Here's, here's a small sapling that I just cut down. This is how I anchor a lot of my dog proofs. Uh, I put them on these type of saplings or small logs, a drag of some sort uh, to either get the, the, the critter after it's caught out of the side of public or get him off the trail. Um, so obviously with this heavy duty cable, if you were to, to use it in such a manner as we did on the tree, um, in this instance here, that that memory of that cable is just so much that it just does not close tight on uh, on an instance like this. As that critter works it, it just come loose. So solving that issue, uh, we made a noose. And, and at the end of this cable is a slide and a noose. And what this allows you to do is take an anchoring point like this, something slick or small in diameter, and by using that noose, um, you're able to attach that to that point and actually draw that down tight. And you can see by doing that, that critter is never going to be able to, to pull that loose. Um, it takes all that memory out of that. So, so super, super effective. And not only that, but if you can imagine taking this set, uh, you know, here you go, you've got your uh, log sticking out of a creek or your sapling in this manner. You've got your trap. Put that around there, put your trap in the ground, and you're done and on the road. Super quick, super efficient. Man, I tell you, it, it's, it's one of the easiest ways of anchoring that I have found, and it's, it's got huge benefits. Uh, and if you pair this with some sort of an earth anchor, um, on this trap here, I've just put my pogo anchor uh, alongside with the, the cable anchor here, and if you need to, you can anchor with that earth anchor and this just hangs free, doesn't get in the way. You don't have to, you know, take it off. And there you have three different kinds of anchoring systems. So I will be honest, after running this, this cable anchor for a good while now, I've, I've started just taking off my earth anchors. It's just so easy to, to anchor like this. You know, there's always a tree or a limb or something. Uh, you know, I just, I don't have to bother putting earth anchors in the ground anymore and I don't have to bother pulling them. That right there to me uh, just speaks volumes. So that's, that's the anchor. Uh, one other huge advantage to, to this anchoring system is if you are a conibear guy, if you're anchoring 330s, or if you're anchoring 220s, I like to still anchor my 220s, especially whenever we're talking 330s. This, this cable extension is great. It keeps you from having to always put wire on and, and twist that wire up and it, it's always poking, you, poking your waders or your gloves or something. Um, by attaching this anchor here, all you have to do is find a, you know, a beaver chewed log or a root sticking out of the ground and attach that and you've anchored your, your con of bear uh, and you've got a lot of room, a lot of wiggle room too. So I don't know, just super effective, just a great all around anchoring system. Super proud of that, super excited for that anchoring system. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the beaver drowner cable. Uh, it, for those of you who've followed me, uh, this is the way that I like to trap beaver. Uh, I like to, to trap them with footholds and I like to use a cable drowner. Um, it, to me, it's just very easy. Uh, and this right here is, <laughs> is super cool. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a universal system once again. Uh, so what we did is we started off with 10 feet of eighth inch cable. Um, the 10 feet is, is what I consider, you know, good all around. That's going to get you out in, in almost every area to deep water to be able to drown that, that beaver or that, you know, you can use these for, for coons or everything else. It, it's pretty much a universal drowning system. So as far as the lock, I, I did not want to cheap out on the lock. I have used a cam style lock, uh, for years. I think it just preserves the uh, the cable for for many many catches. So went with a nice toothed cam style lock here. So this is by far the best uh, type of lock that I've I've used over the years. So I brought that into this this drowning cable. You'll notice this loop on the end of it. So this is super cool. Uh, I wanted to make this like I said quite universal, and I know there are a lot of guys out there 
that that only trap beaver for a certain time of the year or maybe you you are a beaver trapper and you only trap coyotes for a certain time of the year and you don't want to go out and buy a whole new uh run of traps just to go trap beaver or coyotes for a few days right so by having this integrated loop into the cable what this allows you to do and and these drowner cables they will also ship with s hooks and j hooks so this is a this is a 650 size trap here makes a great canine trap but also makes a a excellent beaver trap so say you're canine trapping and you come across a a, a bunch of beavers that you want to trap and you just don't want to spend the money on traps you can take your canine traps uh, and use the included j hook here run that j hook through your swivel, attach that J hook to the loop of this drowner. Uh, all you need is a pair of pliers to close the J hook and you've got a beaver drowning setup made right there. Nothing else needed. Um, as far as the ends of this, incorporated the same noose type uh, ends as I did with the, the other anchoring system. So this is super cool. What this allows you to do is use a multitude of different anchoring devices. Uh, like I said, with the included S hook, uh, if, if you wanna use an earth anchor for your, for your staking at the end, very simple, put the S hook on, uh, and now you can, you can stake on your high side with an earth anchor. Uh, with the noose, if you want to use rebar, say you wanna use a rebar stake, you drive your rebar, you take that noose, put that around there, you can anchor with rebar. Say you're in a situation where there's a bunch of roots sitting out of the creek bank or something. Uh, all you have to do is just tie on to one of those with this noose and you're good to go. So on the bottom end of the cable, same thing, noose style. Uh, if you're a guy that likes to carry in, say a, a, a gunny sack and fill it full of rocks at the set, that way you're not carrying weight in. Uh, this noose will suck down tight on that bag of rocks. I like to carry in weight. Here's a brake rotor here. Uh, this is a great, great weight for beaver drowners. Um, you know, the cable is, is equipped with this noose where you can run that through that brake drum and because the noose opens up, you know, as wide as you want it, you can then run it through the cable, trap attached and all, and draw it down tight. And now you've got a great, uh, you know, a great drowner rig right there. All right, y'all, so there you have it. Um, two products I'm super proud of them. Took a ton of effort, a lot of, a lot of tweaking, a lot of like getting everything right. But I, I, I would not, send this out to you guys if i didn't think it was a hundred percent you know i'm not going to put my name on something that i don't honestly believe in and to be quite honest i think this is the most universal and user-friendly anchoring system out there and then as far as the beaver drowner cable i don't think you're going to come up with something that's that's as that's as straightforward and easy and has so many different applications so anyway if you're interested please check the link down below uh, i'll try to put a tab up here somewhere too but yeah, super proud of it. Um, I wanna thank Alan Prost. Alan Prost, he took over Dakota Line Snares this year and without his uh, support, him believing in, in me, uh, this would have never, never came full circle. So super thankful to him and just super proud of, of something that I can put my name on and, and hopefully make an impact on the trapping industry. Uh, like I said, I, I would not put my name on this if I did not 100% believe in it. And uh, you know, you guys are gonna see a lot of it this year. Uh, you guys are gonna see a lot of this stuff now that it's available. Uh, we're gonna be using these on, on a lot of different sets. Uh, coming up on the very next video, you guys will see this in use. But yeah, with that being said, guys, um, super thankful for all the support over the years. Like I said, if you're in the need for an anchoring system, definitely go check it out at the link down below. All right, with that being said, guys, as always, I appreciate your view and the support. We'll see you on the next video.